Good morning, boys and girls. I'm so excited for this week, Safe Schools Week, um, and the activities that we have planned in our dress up days. So, first of all, I wanted to remind you what Safe Schools Week is. Safe Schools Week is just a time where we celebrate and we um, talk about what it takes to have a safe school. And, and there's things we can do to have a safe school, which you know about, like practice our drills and lock the doors and those types of things. But it goes way beyond that, way beyond those things. And it goes, it has to do with how we all feel in our school and how we all treat each other in our school. So it really goes back and it ties back to our expectations about showing kindness and being respectful, responsible, and acting safely. So um, Safe Schools Week is just a time where we talk about how we as teachers and how and, and people in our school and how you all as students can help contribute to a safe school because everyone in this school makes our school safe. Um, it's not just my job. It's not just the teacher's job. It's not just Miss Howe's job. It is everybody in this building's job to make our um, school a safe place. And so um, they they tell us things we should talk about with you all this week during Safe Schools Week. And I think it's so awesome because three of the things they talk uh, told us to talk about are kindness, which is our expectation, right? Um, being responsible, which is our expectation. And being respectful, which is another expectation. So a lot of these things and showing, uh, following our safety rules, of course, um, are things that we already talk about in our school and that we're already trying to promote and that we're already trying to make you all do an awesome job of and that you are doing an awesome job of. So today, for fun, today is kindness day and you were supposed to wear your superhero gear. I love superheroes. Um, today we're going to play some kindness bingo. So it's going to be short and sweet because I'm going to get to the point and give you the winning, um, the winning items. Okay, so everybody should have a bingo card. If I call what you have, I'm going to show you the picture so it's easy to see too. Um, you just take your pencil or whatever, mark or whatever you have, mark it out. Okay, you have to either get all four going down or five going down or all five going across. Okay, across or down is a winner. And we'll probably have more than one winner. So what I want you to do, if you are a winner, and this is up to your teacher whenever you bring it to me. You can either bring it to me this morning when you win. I'll be in the hallway just like always and I'll have a prize for you. Or you can come to me at the very end of the day while we're packing up at 2.55. Now it has to be before 3.05 because Miss Anderson does car rider then. But it can be by 3 or 2.55 to 3.05 in that range. Whatever works for your teacher. So it's up to your teacher whichever time you get to do that, okay? All right, are you ready? The first one I have here is let someone go in front of you. Let someone go in front of you. So I know oftentimes we're super, 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 super excited to get where we're going, like lunch or recess or wherever else down the slide. But kindness in, is letting someone go in front of us. Super simple, right? But it makes other people feel good, makes people feel like they belong at our school, which contributes to a safe school. The next one I have, so let someone go in front of you. You can mark that off if you had it. The next one I have, write a nice note. Write a nice note. You see her writing her note there. That's, again, something easy to do, but it makes somebody feel good. Kindness bingo. Number three, are you ready? Share a pencil. Share a pencil. Again, super easy, right? You got an extra pencil, so it doesn't have one. Share yours. The next thing I have, my favorite, and we've been talking about this with some of my classes, second, third grade. Include everyone. Include everyone. Right? We read that Invisible Boy book, and we don't want anyone to feel invisible at our school. So we, our job is to always make sure we're including everyone. So you see the boys and girls together. Last one. Some of you are getting close to that bingo. This is pretty simple. Thank a teacher. Thank a teacher. So, again, if you have these five across or down, thank a teacher. Include everyone. Chair pencil. Write a nice note. 
and let someone go in front of you. If you have those five going across or down, you're the winner winner today. And there's a lot of winners. So, haha. Uh -huh. um, you can come to me again whenever your teacher tells you to in the morning or in the afternoon. Okay. And I hope that you can show some kindness today because that's just one way that we make everyone feel safe and like they belong at our lovely, awesome school. And the second thing I have for you during kindness bingo today, or during kindness today, is um, our staff. I'm going to have this sitting in my office. It's a little wheel. And what you can do is grab an index card, a sticky note, whatever you have. I'll have some sitting beside of it, too. Write down a student who's showing kindness and what they did to show kindness. If you put it in here. I'm going to open it up. Put it in here. And then tomorrow, during my video tomorrow, I will draw some winners for some more prizes. So, you don't know what the prizes are going to be. It could be candy. It could be something cool. Um, again, staff. Please find some kids doing kindness today. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I hope you um, have a great week this week, and I will see you today. Bye!